De Mayo is leading a resistance effort to protect Prop 13 and stop property tax hikes. He joins us now to discuss the campaign and how you can join in the effort. Carl, good morning to you. Good morning. So here we go again. We have, uh, <laughs> and you know, I think it's just uh, confusion is, is a lot of the word here um, because we hear Prop 13 as it relates to different things. It shows up on the ballot in different ways. So so let's let's talk about what this Prop 13 uh, a vote means come November. Right. Well, we're talking about protecting Prop 13 from 1978. This was the historic taxpayer revolt measure that basically said we didn't want to have massive increases in property taxes year after year, that we should have a steady, sustainable, modest increase and put government on a diet. Um, Prop 13 has provided taxpayers and homeowners with savings for the past 40 years. Uh, the typical homeowner last year um, benefited $14,000 in property tax savings. And that's according to the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, which has looked at the past 40 years and, and how Prop 4, uh, 13 has benefited us. Now, why are they doing this? These politicians in Sacramento and in San Diego, they have never turned down a tax increase. They're always trying to increase taxes, gas tax, car tax, sales tax. The property tax obviously is the big one. Uh, and they've always wanted to get rid of Prop 13 for the past 40 years. And so they're using uh, uh, window dressing of saying the children and, and schools are going to have to face budget cuts unless we raise taxes right. by eliminating Prop 13. So, it's so, only hostage taking and window dressing, and we should reject this item. So, so let's talk about the goal. So they're they're saying that this proposed change to Prop 13 is uh, their goal is to raise 12 billion dollars annually for schools and local governments. And now you bring in an interesting term that we need it, which is the argument has changed because of really the coronavirus. I mean, the state is you in a it. huge, yeah. huge financial um, deficit. And so now the argument is gonna be, oh, well, because of the coronavirus and where we are financially, we need this. What is Absolutely. your argument against it? Absolutely. They are trying to use coronavirus as the excuse for raising taxes. But here here is the fact uh, they were out. They were overspending in their budget far, far uh, prior to coronavirus. Uh, these folks have a spending addiction. They've got lavish pensions, bloated bureaucracies, higher salaries, and they seem to have money to give illegal immigrants a thousand dollars a month. Uh, these are not uh, citizens of the United States, but we seem to have money for that. Uh, we seem to have money to uh, uh, shell out uh, for programs that are uh, not reining in homelessness. We're spending billions of dollars on failed approaches to coddle homeless. And so the list goes on and on of excessive spending and wasteful spending and broken government programs that need to be reformed if you want to deal with that shortfall. But I fear they are going to use coronavirus as a convenient excuse to say that they didn't do it. It's not their problem. They're, they're good fiscal managers, and they just need a bailout in the form of a massive property tax increase. So That's why we all have to unite and say no. We also have to look at the local tax increases that they're probably going to pair with this massive statewide property tax increase. We're monitoring right now more than 100, more than 100 local measures statewide and several here in San Diego County that would increase parcel tax, property tax, sales tax. Uh, and so we have to really uh, reject any sort of tax increase. We have 20% unemployment right now uh, in San Diego County. Uh, we have working families that are hurting and a tax increase to support wasteful spending of politicians should be completely off the table. So what's the breakdown? What would this mean for the average family in San Diego if this change to Prop 13 passes? Well, let's start with the local property tax increase that San Diego, uh, San Diego politicians are trying to put on the ballot for November. They say it's for uh, government subsidized housing, uh, like we need more of that. Um, that would be about 300 to $600 in the next three to five years. And then the property tax increase statewide would first be applied to commercial industrial um, properties and that means that everything uh, that you buy will increase in cost. And it will really hurt small business owners 
that may be uh, leasing space in some of those retail malls and commercial office space. But make no mistake about it, they're going after your homeowner's property tax protections from Prop 13. And that's the real battle that we are fighting. We need to reject this effort this year so that they don't have the opportunity to lay the groundwork to finish the job next year with a homeowner's property tax increase. We know where this is headed. That's why we have to fight. So you held a virtual town hall. It's actually tonight at okay. 6 p.m. We're trying to organize uh, homeowners and taxpayers, um, anyone who wants to be part of the grassroots effort to fight this massive tax increase. Uh, tonight at 6 p.m., people can register. It's free uh, at reformcalifornia.org. That's reformcalifornia.org. But that town hall is tonight at 6 p.m. And it's, it's important that you not sit on the sidelines. We're up against the state and local politicians, as well as special interests, the government union bosses that have hundreds of millions of dollars to, to pay for ads and flyers that are gonna be very deceptive. That's why we need homeowners and taxpayers to join the campaign and share information through social media, uh, talk to their neighbors, talk to their friends and colleagues. Uh, and through that grassroots campaign, we believe we can stop this tax increase and the local tax increases as well this year. So important to do your homework on these issues. Carl DeMaio, as always, uh, thanks for your insight and letting people know how they can uh, take part in the town hall and perhaps learn um, a little more. It's important. Thanks so much. Thanks, Carl. Take care.